azotretinoin is the most important medication in the treatment of acne, especially severe conditions. This molecule, azotretinoin, is actually a vitamin A derivative that is naturally synthesized by the liver. But when we give the patient this medication, we give it in a lot larger amount. We know that acne is caused by blockage of the sebaceous glands or blockage of the hair follicles. Once these open structures get blocked, the sebum which is produced by these organs will accumulate and this will result in bacterial overgrowth and eventually acne. The main effect of azotretinoin is achieved by reducing the sebum production. So the first stage of acne formation, which is blocking of these open structures, might still occur. But there will be nothing produced and nothing accumulated, so the bacteria will have nothing to grow on. Eventually, it will cause atrophy or shrinking of these sebaceous glands, and will cause more skin dryness. Because the sebum that these glands produce help moisturize the skin. So it's very important for patients taking this medication to have very moisturized skin. Originally, the medication was exclusively used for severe acne, but it gradually became more and more used for normal acne and pretty much other dermatological conditions, especially ones where the follicles are, are involved. And these include rosica, seborrheic conditions, scalp folliculitis, and hirudinitis suppurativa. The medication is known to be severely teratogenic, as it causes malformations in the growing fetus. In fact, it is so severely teratogenic that if a female patient is taking this medication, she has to use two different contraceptive methods. However, there are no contraceptive precautions for men. Whenever this medication is prescribed, the patient has to continue taking the medication for months even after all the symptoms resolve, and this is done to decrease relapses. However, the patient should not be continuously taking the medication for more than 7 months. Although some guidelines say that the maximum that the patient can take this medication is 4 months, so the range that we have is 4 to 7 months. The drug interactions that we have are with warfarin, tetracyclines because it can increase the intracranial pressure and cause blurry vision, and of course vitamin A. Azorotinoin is known to directly affect the liver function and the lipid profile. So before the medication is prescribed, the patient has to have a baseline of the liver function and lipid profile. Some serious side effects of this medication include acne flaring, granulomas, impetigo, chelitis around the mouth, and sunburns. To reduce the risk of these side effects, the drug concentration has to be given as little as possible, and if the side effects show, a reduced dose should be considered. The use of ointments, lubricants, and sunscreens. If dermatitis develops, Topical steroids can be used, taking cold showers without soap, and with diluted shampoos, avoid wearing contact lenses, and if impetigo develops, topical antibiotics can be given. Other side effects include headache, myelagia, fatigue, weak vision, especially at night, increased liver function, like we said, and hypertriglyceremia, and for female patients, heavy or irregular menstrual cycle. Recurrence of acne is seen in many patients, especially females. However, the evidence that we have is that more than 50% of patients taking an adequate dose of azorotinoin have full, long-lasting remissions. We see the relapses more with females, like we said, and with patients older than 25 years old. And it is especially common if the cumulative dose was originally not enough. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. 
This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.